It's been good to really dive into them, have an extra day to process kind of what their team is like and how they built it and some of the strengths and weaknesses of their of their program. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's obviously that's the part leading up to it, but then once the game starts, it's just like every other game. Um, I mean, it's not going to be a whole lot of emotion and all that other stuff tied up in it once, you know, the, the clock is ticking. So, you know, the, the story and, and the, the specialness of the opportunity to play a team that you – kind of, um, you know, grew up in that organization is, is special. But then, like I said, once once we get going, it's time to go. Powered by the Las Vegas Review Journal, this is Vegas Nation Game Day. Presented by DNR House of Diamonds, making luxury affordable. Located in the One Summerlin Building in downtown Summerlin. Good morning, football fans. Welcome to Vegas Nation Game Day. I'm your host, Leandre Fox. Thank you so much for joining me. The Raiders moved their schedule in preparation for Monday Night Football, and so have we. Thank you for joining us on a Sunday as we preview Raiders versus Packers. There are a ton of storylines between these teams that we'll talk about throughout this show, but for now, let's check in with our top stories. Joining me now is Review Journal Raiders reporter Vinny Bonsignor, and Vinny, Jimmy G has practiced all week. He even talked on Friday. It has to be a pretty clear indication that he will be a go come Monday, right? Yeah, well, first and foremost, clearing protocol, which he did, uh, on Friday is the, the basically the surest sign that he's going to play on Monday night. Uh, he's eager to get back out there. I know it was frustrating to him not playing last Sunday, but as he told me, um, you know, when we, when we got a chance to talk to him, he was able to watch the game and get kind of a new perspective and a, really an appreciation for what he saw not only for our, from his offensive teammates, but what he saw defensively on special teams uh, from the Raiders. And I think that he's ready to get back out there, obviously play a big game on Monday night against the Green Bay Packers. All right, Vinny, next one for you. We've talked a little bit about it for the last couple of weeks. I talked with Sam about it on Blitz this week as well. The locker room frustrations. What is your take on the tensions surrounding this team just a month into the season? Yeah, there's definitely a sense of urgency, and it kind of comes from the leaders when you're talking about your Devontae Adams and your Josh Jacobs and your Max Crosby to get everybody in that locker room to kind of see things the way they see them, see them, which is giving your best effort every play, play after play after play. Is it hard to lock in like that? Yes, absolutely. It requires every bit of attention and focus that you have to be your best uh, on every single play in order for you to win football games. And that's what Devontae Adams and Max Crosby and Josh Jacobs are trying to convey to their teammates. That's what it requires. That's what you need uh, to win football games. And that's the direct order right now. And that's the urgency that's in that locker room. It's time for Fast Takes. And coming up on Monday Night Football, a big halftime show for the Raiders. Oakland favorite, two short returns. And what's my favorite word? Kick. The Carlson brothers are on full display on Monday night. Daniel for the Raiders, Anders for the Packers. They grew up going to school in Colorado, then they went to Auburn. Now they're in the NFL on opposing teams playing against each other for the first time. There'll be a ton of their friends and family in attendance, and that's not all. No, it's not Taylor Swift, but you'll see a lot of crowd shots of the Carlsons and of the Unescus and Grassus. Ronis Grassu, the backup center of the Raiders in practice water, he will be playing against the Packers on Monday Night Football, but Sabrina Unescu is in the finals. That's his fiance. She is going to be playing game one on Sunday, game three on Wednesday here in Las Vegas against the Aces, so their families will be in attendance too. A ton of stars on display to watch the game, which would involve the Raiders trying to end a three-game losing streak. They're going against the Packers team that has Jordan Love. They had Brett Favre, then they had Aaron Rodgers. Now Jordan Love trying to carry on that tradition. He's been pretty good. He's not them yet, but he's leading them to some success early on. It's going to be a tough challenge for the Raiders. DNR House of Diamonds is Las Vegas' elite private office jeweler, the perfect bridge between internet pricing and a traditional brick and mortar jewelry store. We specialize in loose diamonds, natural and lab grown, engagement rings, fashion jewelry, custom design, and jewelry repairs. We operate by appointment in our beautiful offices in the One Summerlin Building, downtown Summerlin. Our great relationships with the world's largest diamond wholesalers and our low overhead saves you hundreds, if not thousands, on your purchase. The favorite has flipped in the Raiders Packers Monday night football game at Allegiant Stadium. Green Bay opened as a one and a half point favorite, but the line moved in favor of the Raiders on Friday as they climbed to one and a half point favorites. The total is 44 and a half. Green Bay coming off a 34-20 loss at Detroit is 3-1 against the spread and has a 3-1 over under mark. 
The Raiders on the flip side are one and three against the spread and one and three to the under. Welcome back to Vegas Nation game day. The Green Bay Packers special teams coach is a familiar name to Raider Nation as the unit is coached by Rich Bisaccia, former interim head coach of the Raiders who helped lead the team to the wild card round against the Bengals in 2021. He notably wrote a letter to every member of the roster following that loss, and we asked a few members of that team what the letters and Bisaccia himself meant to them. Yeah, well, that's something he did. It wasn't just the Bengals, he, the Bengals game. He did it all the time. Uh, you know, he's one of the greatest coaches I've ever been around. Um, I love him to death. The dude, we still talk all the time. That's family to me, so I love them. Yeah, it was personal. Um, I think he did it. I mean, he, he put his thoughts and emotions for every single player, which you don't get that a lot in a coach. And so, you know, Basachi was someone that uh, we would run through a brick wall for. And um, he's an amazing leader and someone that we admired a lot. So to get to be able to play him this this uh, Monday night is going to be a lot of fun. You know, honestly, I, I think it's really just a, a small thing that represents really who he was on a, on a daily level and who he still is as a coach. Um, he's someone that invests in his players um, as men. Um, he cares a lot about the person, not just the jersey number. He'll coach the jersey number hard, but he cares about the person on a just really incredible level. Um, and I think those notes were just a small example that the outside world kind of got to see, but there was stuff like that daily that he would do um, to really just make you feel uh, important, feel special, feel valuable, uh, feel cared for, feel loved. He was kind of a second father for a lot of people while he was here. So um, extremely appreciative of the time I had with him and thankful that I got to have him as a coach. This year, ESPN reimagined an iconic classic with Phil Collins's In the Air Tonight, now performed by Chris Stapleton, Cindy Blackman Santana, and Snoop Dogg. It's such an honor to be a part of it because it's such an iconic song. The drum fill is iconic. You know, the whole sound of the recording is iconic. You know, his voice on the recording is iconic. You know, so to have this put together and to have it put together, you know, with Chris's vision, which I think is so cool to have him singing and playing guitar and then have a rapper having Snoop in particular. Me being able to, to, to be the drummer on it is just, you know, really, really cool. I've gotten so much incredible uh, response, you know. When I first spoke to Chris Stapleton about this, uh, he says, well, I just think it'd be really cool to have me, you, and Snoop on this. You know, I think it'd just be a really cool mix. And, and the guys at ESPN were just totally into it, and, you know, their energy is amazing. So that all added to making that whole track and the whole video just so exciting. It's one of the most incredible videos I've ever been in. And the excitement that it's bringing is just incredible. I mean, in the first week, I think we had over a million views. Just a, a true honor to be to be involved. I'm, <laughs> I'm really humbled by the way that this is really re being received. Thank you so much for tuning into Vegas Nation Game Day. Make sure you check out all the great work from our entire team at VegasNation.com. And after the game, our crew's going to break down the action on the field. So be sure you check out the Vegas Station postgame podcast as well. I promise it'll play great on your Tuesday commute the day after the game. For the rest of our crew, I'm Leandre Fox. We'll see you on Wednesday for Vegas Nation Blitz. Powered by the Las Vegas Review Journal, this is Vegas Nation Game Day. Presented by DNR House of Diamonds. Making luxury affordable. Located in the One Summerlin Building in downtown Summerlin.